Kazakh President Kasim Jomat Tokayev has ordered security forces to open fire without warning as anti-government protests continue. Authorities say 18 security personnel have been killed and are calling another 26 people killed in clashes armed criminals. Countries including Russia have sent troops to assist Kazakhstan as it faces its worst street protests since gaining independence from the Soviet Union. Luigi Bakil has our top story. Until a few weeks ago, Kazakhstan was one of the most stable countries in Central Asia. But what started as small protests against gas prices have morphed into nationwide anti-government demonstrations that have left dozens dead and thousands injured. On Friday, the president risked escalating the violence, allowing soldiers to fire without warning in a bid to stop the unrest. The counter-terrorist operation continues. The militants have not laid down their arms, they continue to commit crimes or are preparing for them. The fight against them must be pursued to the end. Whoever does not surrender will be destroyed. Officials say more than 3,000 people have been arrested, mostly in Almaty, the country's largest city and the epicentre of the protests. This police handout footage shows some of those being detained. Those who can are trying to leave the country. This border post with neighbouring Kyrgyzstan one route to safety. I'm coming from Almaty. I, I was supposed to fly to Dubai tomorrow, but uh, I found that the Almaty airport is closed. I tried to go to other airports in Kazakhstan, but all airports in Kazakhstan are closed. The Kazakh government has resigned because of the protests, but the president remains defiant. He says the rioters are foreign-backed terrorists, troops from Russia, now on the ground in the former Soviet state. The European Union, UK and US have all raised concerns about Moscow's involvement and the UN is calling for calm. I think for us the important thing is that um, security forces, whether they are Kazakh or whether they are non-Kazakh troops, need to uphold the same a human rights standards, which is to show restraint and protect people's rights to demonstrate peacefully. Gunshots were heard in Almaty again on Friday, with the possibility of more casualties on both sides. Nawid Jabakil, CGTN. As you heard there, former Soviet states are sending troops to quell clashes at Kazakhstan's request, and the United Nations is calling for an end to violence. Stuart Smith has more from Moscow. Well, the CSTO, which is the Collective Security Treaty Organization, which has assembled these troops, says around 2,500 will go to support Kazakhstan, led by the majority, uh, led by a majority of Russian troops, these elite paratroopers in particular. And they'll be there, says the Russian Ministry of Defense, to make sure there is stability and to try and normalize the situation. These other countries have got involved and sent their forces at the request of Kazakhstan and a military treaty obliges them to respond with support, including with military support when a country in that alliance feels threatened. Uh, President Putin of Russia has been speaking to various countries within that alliance, including to Kyrgyzstan, who has now confirmed they have their forces on the ground. Troops will only protect facilities important to the state. They will not take part in any rallies, dispersal of rallies or restoring order. Of course, every state has this right, but we are parties to the Collective Security Treaty. We signed and ratified these treaties. Therefore, I think we cannot refuse these situations, especially when our neighbor asks for help. The Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs says that it echoes the claims by Kazakhstan that there may be foreign influence in these protests. The United States says it's watching for potential violations of human rights or any efforts by foreign forces to seize control of Kazakh institutions. And we've heard from both the e uh, European Union and the United Nations that all uh, involved should act responsibly and with restraint and should refrain from actions that could lead to further escalation of violence. The European Union has called for dialogue, but Kazakhstan says it's not going to talk with what it calls criminals and murderers. Chinese President Xi Jinping has sent a message to Kazakh President Tokayev as he says China opposes any external forces that create social unrest and harms Kazakhstan's stability. And China also says it's willing to help the country stabilize the situation. 
China has noted that the Kazakh authorities are taking a series of vigorous measures to combat acts of violence and maintain social stability. China supports all efforts in favor of the Kazakh authorities to calm the situation as soon as possible, and resolutely opposes external forces creating social unrest and inciting violence in Kazakhstan. As a brotherly neighbor and a permanent comprehensive strategic partner, China is ready to do its best to provide the necessary support to Kazakhstan and help it overcome difficulties. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization, of which Kazakhstan is a member, issued a statement on Friday saying that it hopes the situation will stabilize soon. The organization says it believes timely measures have been taken by Kazakhstan's leaders to resume peaceful talks within the framework of the legal system.